not quite well because of all of that. Uh, I think there's another couple of uh, counselors standing out in the hallway. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, well, good afternoon, everyone. And as the Deputy Mayor McFadge has already indicated, uh, it is a, a very worthwhile endeavor what we are doing here today in recognizing Christopher's accomplishments to date and the rest, of course, of his challenge, which still lays uh, ahead of him. You are nearing the end of your journey, but you are not quite there yet. Premier Benz Christopher had hoped to be uh, here to shake your hand today, but uh, he is in Toronto and hasn't uh, gotten home at this point, but he asked me to uh, extend his appreciation for what you were doing and uh, continued commitment along with uh, Manager George and all of your supporters to keep on doing what you, what you are doing, and that, of course, is raising awareness about the organ donation. Uh, deciding to become a, a, an organ and a tissue donor, is, it's a very momentous decision, it's a personal decision, and it's probably as well as most of you people realize here, a, a type of decision that is best discussed with one's family. But the reason for doing it, of course, is that it can save someone's lives. And uh, that's really the reason why Christopher is, is doing what he is doing, and his challenge is now our challenge, and has been for quite some time. Organ donations are no longer considered unusual, and I'm sure that just about everybody here can name one individual that they know of who has been a recipient, a recipient of an organ donation. However, it does not diminish the need for continuance of organ donations. And uh, in honor of Christopher's visit uh, to this province, I, as the health minister, would ask all Islanders to give serious consideration to becoming organ donors. Now there are a number of ways that you can do this. Uh, some of you probably know these, that you can indicate your wish to be an organ donor uh, by indicating so on your driver's license and then that will travel with you wherever you go obviously. And you can do that of course at your next renewal of your driver's license. Or you can also get a red sticker applied to your provincial health uh, card as well. So either of those two ways can name you as a organ uh, donor. Prince Edward Island uh, participates in the Halifax, Nova Scotia QE2 Science Center organ donation program and this gives Prince Edward Islanders requiring organ or tissue donations access to many of those potential donors. So Christopher, George and supporters and I, I recognize the contribution by uh, Best Western here today as well as a sponsor. Uh, please take uh, the time, everyone, to acknowledge this young man's uh, contribution and his personal challenge. Uh, we wish you, wish you very well as you finish off your Cross Canada trek. And of course, we wish you very well, Christopher, in the rest of your uh, life. Uh, if there's any uh, bearing on what you have done so far in your first 13 and a half, 14 years, it's going to be a well spent one, and we are very, very proud of you. Thank you for joining us here at Prince Edward Island and Bon Voyage for the rest of Canada.
has inspired many from coast to coast, Mr. George Marcello. Of the day 